Now that we've let all the air out of the lines, we can go ahead and connect the low pressure hose up to the valve under test. Turn the valves to the measure position. And what we're going to be seeing on the display right now is the differential pressure, the high side, and the low side pressure simultaneously. With this valve, with this Armstrong valve, it's a Venturi type valve, which means you can input a CV or a KV factor to compute flow. I program that in. I go to my flow setup, flow measurement, and we can see the flow in gallons per minute. At this point, we're measuring 65.2. By adjusting the stem position, we'll be able to change the pressure drop across the valve and the flow. When we're done taking measurements across the valve, turn the shutoff valves and the short hand hoses to the off position. Disconnect from the valve under test. Now we can go to another valve and take and repeat the measurement process. However, since we've already bled the hoses of air, there's no need to repeat that process. When we put the valves in the off position, there's a slight vacuum holding the water in here, so we shouldn't see any uh, air inadvertently get into the hose lines. When we're done for today, just open up the shutoff valves on the low end and the short hoses in a suitable receptacle. Disconnect the hoses from the meter. And let them drain. For the instrument itself, all you really need to do is tip it forward, maybe move the valve, back, valve handle back and forth a couple times. If you have any concern that there may have inadvertently got any debris inside the, the ports here, you can easily take some compressed air, 5, 10, 15 PSI, put it on one of the ports and work it through by adjusting the knob. At this point, you're ready to put your instrument away, pack it up, and get ready for the next day.